fresh from the showroom here, Swiss Watch Expo. Creed, you telling me about these Corum watches this morning, and I said, we've just got to do a spot on these. You were telling me that this is a watch where they have taken an actual solid gold U.S. coin, cut it in half, put a watch movement in the middle, and so you can see the case back of the watch is the head side of a 1899 U.S. coin, and the dial of the watch is the back side of the coin. You're blowing my mind. The Corum was developed by what we think of as, I will term, the skunk works of Omega. <laughs> Omega had a division inside the corporation where they developed watches that were a little bit odd, a little bit different. They experimented with some designs. So Corum, when they were looking for a new watch design, came up with this coin. It's now, interesting that they didn't want to just put the Omega name on it and make it part of their collection. Right. Now, a lot of people know Corum as the bubble watch, they know, which is the oh, most right. popular today, right? Mm -hmm. So the Corum coin is still made. They're extraordinarily expensive. They can be anywhere from eighteen to twenty-five, even thirty-five thousand dollars and up. Wow. The newer coins are a little bit larger. I happen to be wearing an automatic version. It's a thirty-eight millimeter watch. It's it, you know I have a big wrist, but even this watch looks pretty good on my wrist. One of the reasons that this is such a fantastic watch is because not only are they super thin, they are, as you said, an actual coin cut in half. They were manufactured during the time when uh, they did not have quartz movements. So these were actually manual wind movements. And so it was really hard for that time in technology to introduce a manual wind watch into the marketplace that was this thin. Wow, it must be really thin too. I and mean, you look at the thickness of this watch to think that there's the two sides of a coin and then a movement placed between those two. That's, that's just amazing. Absolutely, and, and you notice that you had the knurled edge, and that's because when they slice it in half, they have to actually obviously put it back together. It's a little bit thicker than it was when it was original, right. and so they put this coin edge on the side of it to bring it all together and make it one. That's a nice touch. One of the other things about these watches that you'll probably notice is that each one has either a cabochon in the side or an actual diamond. Hmm. This one actually has a diamond. The watch that I'm wearing actually has the diamond as well. Hmm. Now, these watches have been worn famously by presidents. This was considered the president's watch and most people think of the Rolex day date as being the president watch. And in fact, that's true. However, this watch was worn by LBJ, by Carter, by Reagan, Bush Sr., and Bill Clinton, uh, as well as Richard Nixon. Now, these watches were introduced at a time when the uh, gold standard was still in effect, so it was illegal federally to mutilate any gold coins or watches on, for watch purposes, or for any purpose for that matter. So, in Switzerland, these were exclusively I guess mutilated for lack of a better term uh, because they were destroyed uh, and because they were being cut in half they were not allowed to be imported into the United States, so Omega had to work with the American government in order to be able to import these into the United States because we were still on the gold standard and this was still a federal crime. Having said that, they did get the exemption for it. Later on, Richard Nixon changed us from the gold standard. People don't realize that. That happened in the 1970s. And so, therefore, it was a little bit more lax in how they, they could uh, deal with the gold coins. And because they were manufactured in Switzerland, they kind of technically didn't mutilate them in the United States. States, okay. so it really technically wasn't a federal crime. So love or hate the two parties, uh, both parties, the Democrats and the Republicans have had presidents wearing this watch. It's not a, a single party watch. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> okay. uh, Reagan fam famously wore his on the front of a magazine. Uh, he displayed, he had one with the gold bracelet, which was introduced in the 80s. It was kind of neat. I remember that now that you say it. It was one of the news magazines. That's exactly right. Front. Yeah. Yep. And so Quorum also does one like this one. It's the Mexican peso which is kind of interesting. It's a ladies piece. Now you can actually see the size difference. Let's just put them side by side. And um, so this is actually a quartz piece. It's okay. thinner. This is also a quartz piece. Mm -hmm. The one I happen to be wearing is an automatic. It's a very super thin automatic by the way. It's automatic and not manual? That's correct. Wow. Yep. That's got to be thin. So the ingot piece this is also interesting because this is another one of those quorum pieces that just uh, is, it screams money in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> it's also got kind of a, a 
real strong vintage look to it that you know it's so popular right now the looks from the 70s and 80s it looks like something that Elton John would have worn at the time. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, just, just in general, it's kind of a, in my mind, it's sort of a Wall Street watch. Mm -hmm. um, and it is an actual gold ingot. So, right. you know, and, and also a reminder, uh, I, I, you and I are both old enough to remember everybody that wore the gold chain right. with the ingots at the right. bottom of them. <laughs> so this is truly uh, having part of your savings account on your wrist. And, indeed. <laughs> now, we did bring out one that's also a quorum just because we have it here at, at Swiss Watch Expo. This watch is an unworn piece. It's a manual wine watch, and it's called a 1957 Heritage Model. Oh, it's something you just don't see, but it's got this gorgeous silver oh, dial. It's very simple and clean, and it's a manual wine watch, and then on top of that, it's actually got the, if I can get the strap, it's, the strap is so new it's, it's a little bit tight to get off. Um, it's got the clear case back so you can actually see the manual wind movement in it, which is really nice. It's fun when you're winding it to be able to see the gears turning to give the mainspring its full charge. Yeah, absolutely. And it, again, it's a 38 millimeter watch. It's very small and thin. But it looks great on any wrist because the dial pushes all the way out to the edge, outside edge, so it looks larger on your wrist than it right. actually is. Gotcha. So Corum's a really interesting product. We have a lot of them here. We have all the different ones. We even have ones with gold bands as well. And a phenomenal value here at Swiss Watch Expo because maybe they're not quite as well known. Maybe they don't quite hold their value as well as some other brands. It's makes it an even better value when you're buying it certified pre-owned from us. Absolutely. And so if you want to look like Ronald Reagan with the gold band, we have that available. Call us. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thanks, Creed, for all the information on Quorum. See you next time here at SwissWatchExpo.com. Absolutely.